Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to play the easy version of Silent Night. You're not going to be playing all of the notes, just some of them, but it should be pretty enjoyable. And at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to play the, uh, the famous riff from Silent Night and uh, you should find that a lot of fun. So let's get started. Make sure you've got your sheet handy. Um, at the top of it it says Silent Night, easy accompaniment, playing notes. So an accompaniment is where you play along with something, so you're not actually going to play the full tune here. And you're going to be playing notes and not chords. Okay. Uh, it says count six for each note and it uses my simple note code. You might want to look at the chart of notes at the top. That just tells you all the notes that crop up in this tune. Uh, and the chart shows the notes from highest to lowest. So you have 5E, which is 5th uh, fret of the E string, and the name of that note is A. You have 3E, which is 3rd fret of the E string, the name of that note is G. You have open E string, which is an E note, of course. Then you have 3B, 3rd fret of the B string, the name of that note is D. And you also have uh, OG, uh, open G string and the name of that note is G. Those are the notes from highest to lowest that you play in the tune. Those five notes. Of course you don't play them in that order. The order that you play the notes in is coming up. It says about a third of the way down the page start playing here. Remember, you are only playing some of the notes, so don't expect to hear the tune of Silent Night. That will come a little bit later on in this video. So if I sing this and play it for you, you'll get the idea. After three. One, two, three. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Okay, it goes fairly low for the singing there, doesn't it? But I'm sure you get the idea. So what actually happens there is you look at the words and some of the words have notes typed above them. The first word, silent, has a 3B typed above it. So when you sing silent, you play 3B and you count six. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll take you up to the word holy, where you play the 3B again and count six again. When you get to the word all, uh, that's the first time you sing it on that first line, you play 5E and count 6. And the second time uh, you sing the word all on that first line, you play 3E and you count 6 beats. So each note lasts for 6 counts. And on the second line, on the word round, you play open E and count 6. On mother, you play 3B and count 6. On holy, you play open E, O E and count six. On tender you play 3B and count six. On the next line, the last line, on the word sleep first time you play 5E and count six. On the word peace uh, you play 3E and count six. The second time you sing the word sleep you play 3E and you count six. And on the last word which is peace you play an open G and you count six. So here are just the notes without the singing. I'll count it in with a six so you get a sense of the timing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two, three, 
four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, And I was hinting at the tune a bit with my counting, wasn't I? So you could sort of kind of feel where you were. Um, as far as the left hand fingers go, um, I don't really mind what you use. You might want to use your first finger on the third fret uh, and your third finger on the fifth fret. Um, but it really doesn't matter for the moment. It's so slow, it wouldn't matter if you used your third finger all the way through. Once you can do that very easy version, you might like to try it the famous uh, Silent Night riff. I suppose we could call it, for want of a, a better word. And the riff goes like this. That's the silent night. And it's really well worth learning that because that riff, that little phrase of notes, crops up four times during the course of the tune. It crops up, obviously, on silent night, also on holy night, also on mother and child, and also on tender and mild. And if you look at the words there, I've underlined silent night, holy night, mother and child, tender and mild, because uh, those are the words where that little phrase or riff crops up. And it's always the same notes, 3B, open E, 3B, and open B. And the timing is one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, now that obviously is a little bit harder than just playing 3B, but immensely satisfying if you can do it. I actually mentioned this in the video about the advanced version of this tune, uh, and I say that you might think it'd be a great idea to leave your third finger on 3B, play the note, play open E, and then your finger's ready for 3B. But listen to what happens if you do that. You can hear the notes kind of jar and jangle together. So really speaking, you should play the 3B, take your finger off, play the open E, put your finger back on the 3B, play it again, and then play open B. And it sounds better if you do that. Once you're comfortable with all of this, uh, you might want to try the advanced version of the tune. And as I mentioned, there is a video for that as well. Hope you enjoyed that.